me show you all these scarves. What are we doing? We're talking about my scarf collection. These are the scarves that I own, not counting the ones that fell off onto the floor right now. I know, it's a lot. It's actually supposed to be only this hanger. I've talked before about the limits you should have on yourself when you like collecting scarves, but here we are. Silk scarves are an absolute delight to wear. We're going to grab one scarf at a time with no specific order. We're just going to grab one, put it on, and talk about it. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go. Okay, I'd like to talk about an oldie but a goodie, and that is this Indian block print scarf that is really almost in threads, but it's so beautiful. And I will not get rid of it until it is threads. And since I'm wearing this nice red blouse right now, I'm just going to put it on with this. And the thing I like about this one is you can wear it long. Oh, my squeaky floor. You can wear it long like that, but mostly what I like to do is because it's so thin, I like to double it up like that and then tie it once behind so that I have a little bit of something fluffy there. Let's get a closer look. And I think that's a really beautiful little pop of color. I don't know how I feel about that phrase, pop of color, but you know, if you're gonna talk about scarves, you gotta say pop of color. It's always nice to have a very long, very thin silk scarf. I have several favorite long, very thin silk scarves that are my absolute favorite, and I put them in a bag to show someone and they got misplaced. My favorite scarves of my entire collection got misplaced. I've been missing them for three months. If you love scarves, you know this is a serious situation. I've been feeling like there's a hole in my heart. Anyhow, let's move on. There are plenty more to enjoy. And you know, since we're wearing this red blouse, I would like to bring back my bird scarf because people like to look at it, I will show it. This is a giant silk scarf that has birds and leaves and flowers all over it. Let's get a closer look at it. This is a wonderful scarf and it's so big. When I found this scarf, it was brand new from Anthropology at the thrift store, but it had these tassels. It had tassels in these holes and like coins and jangly things and I didn't like that, so I took them out. But look how wonderful this styles. Okay, so I'm gonna make a triangle. This is usually how I wear it. Just like that. Usually when I have a coat, let's put a coat on. Let's put on my pink trench coat. And that's how I like to wear this one, big and fluffy and warm around my neck. Sometimes though, I wear it with a summer dress and it works there too, because you can also roll it up into a tube like this, from the triangle tip up, the flat part. And you can get it to be kind of a long skinny scarf too. That's the power of a big square scarf. Here's a newer one that you will not have seen yet. This is sort of a cranberry colored silk scarf that I picked up on a vacation trip. And I got it for like 250 dollars <laughs> at a resale shop. Uh, it's not gonna go with this red blouse, so let me change. So here I've brought out my too tight celery colored dress that need, it's just screaming out for layering. And that's what I use this for. I never wear this out just like this. And this is a perfect use for this cranberry scarf. And also I want to layer on this mirrored jacket, give a little coverage. So this scarf is pretty long, I'd say. It's nearly as tall as me. And I am 5'9", so that is tall. Can you see my feet? I don't know, but there it is. Okay, let's just throw this on first two times around. I like the color of this. I like how it goes with the green. And you know, green and red don't have to be Christmas. This doesn't look like Christmas, but I do feel like it's putting a lot of dark up here. I'd probably wear some boots down below to balance out the darkness. What's another way we could wear this? We could just leave this like this. We also could tie it really low, like that. I just like this sometimes. 
tied once in the back and then draped down the back. Like so. And I do like that. Now, if you don't like the celery green with the cranberry, of course you can wear it with anything else. I just wanted you to see it on. I wanted you to see the perfect floatiness of it. And that's the thing I love about silk scarves, is how light they are. And uh, how well they crunch up into nothing. You can't do this with an acrylic scarf. They feel like junk compared to this. This feels amazing. I'm so judgy. That's, I'm very judgmental about these sorts of things. I wonder if there's something else we can put on with this outfit. Yes. And it's just a light blue, very long scarf. And I know it's boring, but the thing is, the reason I have this scarf is because this is a really good color for me. And when you wear a color that lights up your face, you should put it near your face. And that's a good reason to own certain scarves. When you find the perfect colors for you, it's the best place to wear colors that work for you, right near your face. And I actually like this better than the cranberry scarf with this outfit because it's more balanced in value. There's just light everywhere. And you know, sometimes you just want a beautiful, plain scarf. You do. Here we go. <laughs> Here is a scarf that came up in a mystery box for me, and it's a plain chiffon pink silk scarf. Not a color I usually wear, but sometimes it's fun, especially when I'm going all the way pink. So let's do that. I just recently got this pink coat, so we're going to do this. Okay. So here we have our pink chiffon scarf. I'm not even going to be fancy about it gonna wrap it around once and tie it. I didn't even fold it. Did you see that? And I like the pink on pink. Now they're completely different pinks. I like how the pinks go together. I think that sometimes you just want to layer colors even if they don't match perfectly and you get the idea of a monochrome outfit but you don't have to worry that they don't match. This chiffon scarf is also great for holding hair back or if you're in a windy car and you want to protect your hair without it getting frizzy Silk is really the only answer for that. If you're going to tie up your hair and you don't want it to get frizzy, it's got to be silk. I'm just going to keep on this dress for one more. You may have seen this very huge scarf from my first video. I still have it, and it's not silk. And why do I keep it around? Because it's cotton. It's a really nice cotton handkerchief material. And I just want to show you what I do with it and why I keep it. It's so big. It doesn't make a perfect square, which kind of annoys me, but it's so big that it ends up having a ton of fabric to use and move around and create a lot of scarf, which I love, but you can also use it for other things like when you're on a safari. Now, I'm never on a safari, but you can use it when you're hiking or you're just out or maybe you're at the end of the day at the beach and you had enough sun and you need a little coverage, this scarf is the perfect utilitarian scarf. I've used it when I'm cold and I've used it when it's windy and I've used it to shade my head when I'm hiking. Um, I don't know if you've ever hiked in the Southwest desert. The sun can be kind of intense and I have actually hiked like this <laughs> because I needed some shade and this came in handy. I also like the basic navy blue color. It's a wonderful thing to have. It's not silk, but I do love it. Since I'm wearing this color, I was able to pick up this silk kind of cummerbund, kind of, um, this is a strange one, guys. It is sewn. It has little pleats, I guess you want to call it. Um, it's beautiful fabric. I love the color. It probably is something for the waist. I'm sorry about my squeaky floors. It's probably something for the waist, but I find it to be such a beautiful color that I want to wear it around my neck. Now, I don't usually wear things as a tie, like a man's necktie. I don't like that. But this is one of those scarves that really works like that. Maybe there's some sort of jacket I can put on. It's not, it's not the look for me. So what I would normally do is push it off to the side a bit, maybe put one and a half behind so it doesn't keep sneaking forward. But I like 
I like this one because it kind of has that, it has a finished edge that's kind of pointy and it looks like it's on purpose. And it's a beautiful color. Look at that. It's got all these golds and greens and navy blue. I think it's really pretty. And I was able to pick this up for almost nothing. Probably two dollars or under. This black tank dress is going to be the perfect thing to show you how I can wear several scarves. One of them isn't silk. I'm sorry to keep bringing up my isn't silk scarves, but there's only a couple. And the reason I keep this one around is because of the shimmery gold on it. And every once in a while, I just want something that's kind of like big and bulky that makes a big piece of fabric around my neck like this. And not only that has the shimmer to be a little festive. So in this case, you know, I would pick a non-silk scarf. I do like the color of it too. I think it complements my skin tone. So I keep this one around. Here we go, let's look at the whole thing. Sometimes that's what I want. And that's what I get with this scarf. At least as long as me. This is how big it is. So this next one's pretty exciting for me, guys. I have designed a few scarves for my own personal collection, and this is one of them. This is actually one of my scarves from my collection. I love the red in this scarf. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. This is like all of my favorite things in one scarf. It's got florals, it's got beautiful and unusual reds, and it's got little touches of green. Let's put this one on with this tank dress. Automatically, do you see how it lights up a face with like feminine beauty? I just, I feel like this is such a feminine scarf. I love the colors. I love the colors of this scarf, if I do say so myself. I specifically chose them to be this because I feel like usually when you get a red scarf, it's like red, it's like fire engine red. Well, what about, what about the person wearing the scarf? The problem with the bright red scarf is sometimes it takes so much attention away from your face. Whereas I feel like this one complements skin tone. This one complements the wearer. It's still beautiful, but it's not a fire engine <laughs> stealing all your attention. I would wear it like this. I'm perfectly happy with how this scarf looks just like this, but we could also do this. We're going to take it as a triangle. We're going to wrap up from the triangle tip to the big flat part. Let's put it in the front and then bring it around. And that's pretty too. In fact, I have a video of all the cool ways you can, a lot of cool ways you can wear this scarf. And you can watch that here if you like this scarf. It's also great in hair. It's great tied to your bag. There are so many ways to wear this wonderful scarf. I cannot stop talking about it. But I will, because there's many more scarves to go over right now. If you want to get this scarf, there's a link right here. Let's bring out this burnt velvet scarf. Now this is something I've had for a while, so if you've watched my other scarf videos, you may have seen this. Some people like to think this feels like a 80 year old going to church, and you know what? <laughs> Those ladies look awesome, so like, what's the problem? Okay, so you can wear this scarf as a sort of shawl, which I think is great. You know, like if you even tie this in the front, now you've covered your shoulders. Suppose you, know, you want a little warmth. It's a great use for that. You can just wear it straight down like this. And it adds some luxury to this plain tank dress without creating a lot of attention. There's just this really subtle olive color woven through it. Let me show you how big this is. Okay, it's actually taller than me with heels on. This is a long, long scarf. It's got tassels, it's silk, it's just wonderful. Oh, it's got some flowers. So I think basically when you have something like this, it's very good for fancying up any outfit you have just by draping around your neck like that, like so. An outfit that I can actually go to an event in and here we have an outfit that is so casual, I'm going to the street fair. So that's what your burnt velvet, your silk burnt velvet scarf can do for you. I love keeping this around. I hardly ever bring it out, but it's very handy. One more scarf before we change out of this black tank dress. 
we're going to do this sequined scarf. This is pretty cool. This can really fancy up anything. And not only that, it's just so easy to wear. Look at that. Go into a black tie event. What? Out of a black tank dress that's super casual? Now I'm going to a black tie event. I love it. It's that transformative. You could also wear this as a belt, if you so wish. I have no complaints about this scarf, except for I don't have enough occasions to wear it to warrant keeping it, but I do, yet I do keep it. Let's change it up a bit. Let's watch how a scarf, a silk scarf, can transform something as casual as a gray tank top. So I received this one as a gift. This is a beautiful hand-painted silk scarf, and it's so beautiful. I mean, I feel so lucky to have received this. It's just a beautiful scarf. So I'm going to fold it up a little small there and just drape it like that. Just to show you that, you know, I'm wearing just a basic tank top and some gold hoops, a little gold necklace. But this silk scarf has actually turned it into a cute outfit. And it wasn't that cute before. <laughs> it definitely wasn't very special. And now it is. You know what, let's just give it a little kind of a fluffy, a fluffy tie here and see what happens. I think that's super cute. I like it. Beautiful. Love it. I love the way the silk puffs up like this because it's so light. And I love the way that this just transformed my super casual gray tank top into something whimsical, something jaunty, something much more fun. I need more adjectives and synonyms. Next. Well, I went to the Barbie movie this year, as did lots of people. And I took a trip to go do that. I went up north, and I, while I was up there, I went to a couple of old thrift shops. And I ran into these delicate little silk hankies. They're so tiny. I never really owned a silk scarf this small before. And I happened to be up there for the Barbie movie, so it's really kind of cool that I had something pink and I wore it to the Barbie movie. Like so. Okay, so what I did was I turned into a triangle and then into a little tube and then I tied it around my wrist. Like so. And you can either let it hang just like that. Now, I feel very bare up here. I would most likely have a jacket. Let's just put a little something on. This cover-up is also silk, and I do consider it to be part of my silk scarf collection. Let's count it. And let's just move this tie to the outside of my wrist so it's more like that. And the thing about when you wear a scarf like this, of course you don't walk around like this, but you do sometimes move your hand through the air and I thought that it added a really nice bit of color and movement, and I think it's cute, which is why I kept it around. It could, it could fit around your neck, but there's no fabric to spare. Let's give it a try. It barely ties. It's so tiny. It's a little baby. There we go. If you just wanted a tiny little bit of a scarf there, you could have it. You could have your tiny little bit of scarf. There it is. Hanky style. Okay, while I'm wearing this bright pink silk cover-up, let's bring out this giant scarf that I picked up at the thrift store, brand new from Anthropology, had tags and everything. This floral and green and yellow scarf with lots of tassels. What could we do with it? We could, we could put it on like that and just let it hang. Just let it be itself. Let the tassels show. And that's pretty enough. You really don't have to do more than that. Can you do more than that? Probably. We're gonna just crunch it up some more, and we're gonna bunch it around a lot more. And then we're gonna give it a little tie. And that's pretty too. This one is not silk. I need to say that. And that's why I probably don't wear it as much as I could. It is beautiful, but I don't choose it. And that's because I like the way silk feels on my neck. And as beautiful as this is, it's not silk. I just wanted to be clear. Okay, we're gonna switch up the base outfit a little bit and just wear this beautiful farm-to-table or farm-rio 
blouse that is um, floral and organic in nature, which is kind of my favorite theme. And let's go with something blue to play up the blues in this blouse. The blues in the blouse. And let's go with this blue scarf. I love this scarf. I like that it has this asymmetrical hem. It, it's mirrored on the other side, as you can see. It's very long. It's very skinny. It's very silk. And it's a very good color for me. So I think it'll be great to pick up on the blues in this blouse. Let's go for it. Yeah, I like how this is so fun and riotous. I like that word. This is a riot of fun color. And I am going to keep this faux leather skirt on for a little bit. Let's see the whole thing. You could also just tie it behind and let it be hanging down in the back. I don't really love the back of my haircut right now because it's growing out. So you're going to ignore that <laughs> and you're just going to focus on the beautiful scarf hanging down in the back. I really like it. This is a, this is a wonderful scarf that I can always count on to brighten up my face and make me feel more alive. I do believe that this was Banana Republic before I took off the tag eons ago, but I think that this is one of the newer ones that you may not have seen. One of my favorites. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Okay. Let's do something else to play with the pattern on this blouse. Let's do some pattern mixing. We're gonna go with one of my favorite little ones, which is a little silk square. I'm going to tell you that I got this from a resale shop in Paris for $5. It was a box of silk scarves, and they were $5 each. Can you imagine how excited I was? I also knew that there were limits because I was on a trip where I couldn't carry much. I was backpacking. Luckily, silk scarves fold into almost nothing. But I knew I couldn't have everything, but I had to have this one. So we're going to fold it up really small. It's going to give it a little tie in the back. And once again, you're going to ignore the shape of my hair, but check that out. It's so cute. And when you wear leopard, I think it's kind of a neutral. Leopard is a neutral. It's a neutral in color. It's a neutral in pattern. You can wear it with anything. And maybe I will bring it back out when I choose a different pattern, but I just love the way this looks. I love the way that these little tiny scarves add balance to the outfit. Here's without it, and it's a perfectly fine outfit. And then here it is, and it adds balance. I love it. Could you take this square shape and just wear it as a triangle? Yes. And that gives you a little bit more shape up here. I think that's adorable too. I can't say enough good things about this scarf, so I'm just going to move on because I could talk about it all day. Can I show you the edges? Can I show you the detail really quick? <laughs> Ooh, animals. I love animal printed things. I just do. I find this one delightful. I do not like collars, but I don't mind the collar on this denim shirt, and it is one of my favorites. I wear it all the time. And what I'd like to show you is that with just a very common denim shirt like this, what a silk scarf can do. And let's just start with this very plain oh boy. You know, I gotta tell you that I also got this one in Paris. This is also one of my $5 scarves. I adore this. This little diamond light blue silvery scarf. I just love it. It adds the most delicate accent to my outfits. And I'm just going to roll this into a tube really quick. And look how this adds without stealing attention. That is so wonderful. I love it. So here we are with my kind of grayish outfit here and my little gray scarf. It adds some coverage up here. It adds balance without being showy. Let's try tying it a little bit more toward the front and off to the side if you want to be a little bit more showy, but not a lot more showy. Beautiful and subtle. Now, what if we're not looking to be subtle? Let's pick a more colorful one. Aha! Let me introduce you to another one of the scarves that I designed for my collection. 
And this one was designed with desert landscapes in mind, and uh, cacti, uh, succulents, spiky plants, and the colors of the desert, but it mostly was designed with skin tones in mind. And I designed this so that the colors would be complementary to a wide range of skin tones. And I think that I have succeeded because I've tried this out on many different skin tones. And still, it reflects beauty back onto the wearer, which is really what I was trying to do. I'm trying to make the wearer of the scarf more beautiful. I'm not trying to steal beauty from the wearer. I'm trying to shine light on the wearer. So let's show off this scarf a little bit by tying it more like a triangle. And if I can talk for a moment about why I made this the way I did, it's because you can choose how much color is showing. And right now, I want more of the color to show. So I'm just going to bring more of the color out. And I have more greens and reds. Now, if I wanted this to be more colorful, then I would specifically fold this so that the colors were showing, the bright, bright colors were showing, like the orange. And then I would have sort of an orange and green scarf. And I find this so exciting because most scarves have the same design all over it. And I purposely made this very asymmetrical so that you could show off different parts of the colors. And suppose I wanted it to be super subtle, then I would show more of the middle of the scarf, which are some more muted colors. So now that I fold this to show the top, it's going to be more muted. And now this is what's showing. And then what I have here is something that is just kind of keeping me warm through here, creating a little bit of coverage, but still it's about me. It's about my skin, it's about my face, it's not about something being crazy right here. And I love that. I love that these scarves are designed to show you. If I can toot my own horn for a second. I think that's important, is that everybody find their own personal beauty. And if I can help facilitate that, I'm gonna do it. So this is personally how I like to wear it, with a little bit of the colors showing and a little bit of the triangle showing with the purple. And when I have a deep neckline like this, I like to have it a little bit like with a point down. We're going to pull out the vintage red silk scarf that someone reached out to tell me that this is a real piece of history and I'm actually afraid to wear it. It says the Roundup Letter Buck. And not only that, there are these little printed people riding horses and bulls and fences around the edge, and it's a bright red. I mean, not only am I afraid to wear it because it seems so delicate and historical, and there's already a couple holes in it, but this is one of those colors that I believe steals attention. You wanna see? Should I put the cowboy out front? Maybe. Let's do that. This is bright. This is a bright red. So this is a sassy red. This is the kind of red where people look at it and go, wow, I love your red scarf. So sometimes you do want the attention to go down here. Like suppose you're having a not so good face day, like your eyes are puffy or you're just not happy with your makeup or your hair and you want the attention to go somewhere else, you can force it to go down with a bright scarf. I do think that is pretty. I'm just so afraid of this scarf. I really do. <laughs> I treat it like gold. I don't even know why because, I mean, you should just wear your beautiful things. You should. But this one terrifies me. <laughs> Maybe I should do a giveaway one of these days and give away my letter buck scarf. Maybe I should wear it a couple times first, don't you think? You should enjoy your nice things. Can we do a boring scarf really quick? This is not exactly my boring scarf. This is just a plain scarf. This is a plain, luxurious navy blue scarf. Still has the tag on it, actually. It says Scarves by Vera, and it has a little gold trinket. Oh, with a ladybug on it, it's super cute. Um, this was in the vintage box of surprise scarves. And sometimes I do like to wear just this plain navy blue scarf because navy blue is a good color for me. Let's just go ahead and throw this on.
You see what I mean? Sometimes you just want a simple color that looks good on you near your face. You're not trying to put the attention down here, you're trying to put the attention up here. And for that, a beautiful, luxurious silk scarf in the color that makes you look best near your face really works for that. I love my navy blue Vera silk scarf every once in a while. I tend toward patterns, as you know, I love pattern mixing, so it's a struggle for me to settle myself down to settle for my plain scarves. Let's change. Okay, let's go with plain white. We have a white tank top and a white pleather vest and this long gray skirt again. I would like to show you a couple of long skinny scarves that I have. One is actually the belt that came with one of my cover-ups and I use it as a scarf all the time. It's this beautiful pink sari fabric and you could totally use this. It probably should be steamed. It's a little bit crunched up. And you can just wear it like this, like 90s, all over again. And I think that is super pretty. So, you know, consider your belts as sometimes you can use them as scarves, especially if it's silk, because it feels good. It feels so good. Okay, this is an interesting one that I just picked up on just a little day trip. And I stopped into a Buffalo Exchange and I found this scarf for like six bucks. Really pretty. It's got this nice rose pattern and the other side's just brown. And it's long. It's long and skinny. It almost looks like a table runner, but it's too skinny for that. And we're just gonna toss this around. I like the two different fabrics, the brown and the florals, because it adds a little dimension. And I think it added so much to this outfit, don't you think? Having flowers near your face, I think, is always a nice feminine touch. And yes, I am aiming for feminine most of the time. Maybe that's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's certainly mine. And I love the browns and the pinks. I think this is a gorgeous scarf. It's uh, doubly thick because it has two different fabrics. And usually I like my scarves to be very light and fluffy. So this one's a little bit heavier, but it kind of needs to be. It needs to be to hang nicely so that you can really see it. Beautiful, beautiful scarf. Let's see how heavy it is. Let's see if I can show you. It, you can kind of see when I fling it in the air that it falls a little faster than the others. Should I show you an example? Okay, here's a single layer, very light silk scarf. Okay, and then there's this, and then there's this, and then there's this, and this. Okay, let's see this one since I brought it out. This is a hand-painted silk scarf by Maria. I don't know Maria. I just found this at the bin store one day. Okay, so the bin store is where you pay per pound buy things. So can you imagine how much that costs? It probably costs three cents. What I like about this scarf is not the yellow color. I'm not the biggest fan of the yellows and the pinks. I do love this blue and green flower right here. So let's show that off. We're just gonna fold it in a way where that's the focus. And when I show more of the blues, I think that it's actually quite flattering for me. I don't usually wear these pastels, but I think this turned out quite nice. Let's give it the little tie here. That's super pretty. I love this. Thank you, Maria. I think this was actually like a scarf painting class project because I found two others like this. I don't know if they're gonna make it into this. Uh, I don't see them, so I don't think it's gonna make it into this video, but you get to enjoy this silk scarf by Maria. Oh, you know what? I never noticed, but there's an actual bird on this. I really like it now. <laughs> I was just kind of keeping it around, but now, now that I've seen that bird, I really like it. Let's take a closer look here. Oh, there's some hearts, bamboo, flowers. Okay. Well, thank you, Maria. This has been fun. Let's get it even more of a, a fluffy bow tie, okay? Like you're tying your shoes kind of tie. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
All I know is that I have a renewed excitement for this scarf. I will definitely give it more of a chance to go into my everyday outfits. Oh boy, guys. I hate to brag, but this is the third scarf of the collection that I designed of silk scarves. And I just love the colors of this scarf. Look at the blues and the greens and the reds. It kind of hints at the tropics, it hints at birds, it hints at plants, but really it doesn't have any of those things. <laughs> and that's what I like about it. Again, it's not about what's on the scarf. It's about the way the colors reflect the beauty of the wearer. Hmm, I like the way this looks right now. I wasn't planning on doing the triangle hanging down, but why not? And I like the way the yellows are showing right now. This is another thing I want to talk about, where when you have a scarf that has an asymmetrical print, you can choose what you show. I just showed the yellows. Okay, what if I want to show mostly the reds in the middle of this? So what I'll do is I'll fold these points toward the middle. I'll make a tube out of it. And here we have mostly blues and reds. It all depends on how you fold it. Again, if you want suggestions on how to fold these scarves or how you should wear them, you can check out this little video right here. Oh, and you can also order these scarves here, if you like them. They're here for you. They're here to reflect your beauty. Let's figure out one more way to wear this blue scarf. I want mostly this bright red, yellow, teal. So I'm just gonna fold it so that they're mostly out in the open here. You can ignore this haircut. <laughs> okay, so here we have a lot of nice teals showing. This is just, oh, I love the colors of this scarf. Should we maybe put it in hair and see how that looks? Why not? So sometimes you're driving down the coast in somebody's convertible. I know that doesn't happen to me very often, but sometimes you know, if you want to make a real-world example of something that would happen to me, sometimes you're in somebody's van and they have the windows rolled down and you're sitting in the back seat <laughs> and you don't want your hair to go everywhere. Um, then you can whip out your silk scarf and you can keep your hair under control, like so. And, you know, when you tie your hair back and down with a silk scarf, it doesn't make it frizzy. It just kind of compresses it and holds it for you until you're ready to release it. So got to use a silk scarf if you're going to be tying your hair back. Also, when you have a scarf where you really, truly enjoy the vibrant colors of it, you can just tie it around the handle of your bag, and it makes it so much nicer. Do you want to see an example? I am not kidding you. This actually just happened. This just happened right now. There's an airplane. This is real though. This is real. I almost want to cry. I can't believe it. So I went to go get my bag. I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps. I went to go get my bag to tie my beautiful scarf around. I found my favorite scarves. I found my favorite scarves right now. This is for real. This is not staged. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot believe this. That was a tape measure. I can't even believe it. Okay. Let's finish the thought here. Let's finish this thought. So happy. I'm so happy. Enough, enough, enough. Okay, so you're going to tie this into a tube and you're just going to tie it around one of the handles of your simple bag, your simple French market bag. If you would like to watch a video on French style, French girl style, I have that video right here. And I had so much fun making that, guys. Okay, look, here I am with my beautiful scarf tied onto my simple bag. Look how much it adds. I'm just going to put it toward the back so that when I turn, you're left with this beautiful wash of color. <laughs> I
I've been looking for those scarves for months and months and months. <sighs> Let's show them. Let's try them on. I'm so happy. I'm so happy they're back. Okay. Let's bring out some of these. One of them is this super sweet little butterfly square. And I got this as a surprise in my mystery box of vintage silk scarves. I love the vibrant colors of this. I love the little purple and pink and yellow butterflies. Let's put them on with this white outfit. Look how cute. I just, I'm so happy to have this back. So happy. And look at the beauty of this little tiny square and what it adds to my outfit. It's so cute. Okay, we're gonna make a change. We're gonna see the rest of these scars. Ah, I'm so happy that you were here with me for that moment. Because honestly, I just don't even know if it would be believable if I just told you about it. You had to see it. You had to see the excitement. You had to see how excited I was. It was kind of crazy. I get kind of crazy. I think this is kind of cute. This is my Pepto-Bismol pink large oversized shirt that's great for hiking, traveling, whatever. It can be a dress over your bathing suit. It can be a cover-up like I'm using it now. This is a good base for exploring some more of these scarves. Ooh, I'm so happy to see this. This is my large black pink and gold floral scarf. I've always loved the colors of this and I love that it's black. I love to have a black scarf. This is one of those things where there's a lot of color toward the middle and then not toward the tip of it. So you can choose how much color you want. And I would wear this just like this, just tossed around. And I love how this black balances the black down here. Mm, I love this whole outfit. Maybe I shouldn't tuck my hair behind my ears like a high schooler. I love this just like this. I also love this one as a hair scarf because it's big enough to do so. Did you see how big this is? This is a large scarf. Let's do a little quick turban, okay? I'm just gonna bring it from the back here. And I'm gonna tie it once in the front. And then I'm gonna take this other tip from the top and I'm gonna use that to tie it along with the other side. And then I'm just going to roll it and I'm going to tuck it under. just kind of tuck the bits in there. And this is another great way of keeping your hair under control when it's windy or it just looks terrible. <laughs> like when your hair just looks bad or you're out in the summer and everything's just super hot and you want your hair up and out of the way. I love the turban as a look. I especially like it when a little bit of my hair pops out of the front. Let's see if we can do that. Ooh, I'm destroying whatever my hair is doing today. Okay, let's just pull some of it out the front. I like when a bit of my hair pokes out sometimes up front to show that there is some hair there. Okay, this, so this could, be, this could have been tied a little bit tighter, but I was afraid of ruining my hairstyle for today. So if I tied it tighter, it would be more like that. And then, you know, I like a little bit of bits of my hair sticking out here and there. This to me is just a wonderful hair scarf. It kind of, it's black, so it looks like hair, but it also has some colors. So then you can see that I've got a scarf going on here. <laughs> Yikes, okay. So that's one way that I would wear that. Again, um, you know, if you're in a windy area and you're tired of your hair blowing into your eyes, just fold it in a triangle and toss it over your head and tie it once behind, like so, and compress your scarf to your head like that until you're out of danger. This is also a really great thing to do when you want to put on a sun hat and you want to protect your hair from getting frizzy. Okay, suppose you're going to the market, it's summer, you want your hair up and out of the way, you don't want it blowing around in the wind and you don't want it crushed by your hat. You put on the silk scarf underneath and it looks like a little ponytail hanging down. One of my favorite looks for summer. Wanna get a little funkier? I accidentally knocked this hat down too. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I haven't worn this hat really since the early 2000s and 
I'm not sure if this is me anymore, but it might become me again, so I'm going to hang on to it. Okay, let's experiment with this celery green blouse. I love it. It's not white, it's not black, it's not red, it's not blue, it's celery green. It's not your common color. And I'd like to maybe pull out some of my not commonly colored scarves here. One of them being this gray and purple paisley print. It's very long. I cannot remember where I got this, but I do think it was a thrift store purchase. Very, very thin and light. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to crunch it up really, really small. And I'm going to let it hang down the back like so. And I think that feels a little sexy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it around the front a little bit like that. And that feels, I don't know, less sexy. What's the opposite? It's not demure. I mean, it's not anything. It's just a scarf. Why am I putting these judgments on it? I don't know. Okay, so this time I'm just going to tie it once up front and then I'm going to put it behind and I'm going to tie it there so that not so much fabric hangs down in the back. I like that. It's more like a choker necklace. And it's pretty with my celery green blouse. It's not a scarf I choose often, but I do think that when I wear it, it's a nice complimentary color for me, so I keep it around. But honestly, and if I am going to be honest, if I had to get rid of some, this might be on the chopping block. Why do I keep it? I don't know, because I might need it. Now, I haven't seen this scarf in three months, so it's going to be hard to contain my excitement. But this is my standard red scarf. This I've been missing for so long. This has the butterflies and the flowers. It's a beautiful red color that I think works well on me. And, you know, I do like to put red with green, so let's do this. I'm going to let more of this scarf show. I'm going to let it show like that because I wanted to see the flowers. I wanted to see the beautiful fabric. I don't usually do a cowl neck, but I think that sometimes it's pretty. And I know that if I went out like this, I would end up tying it differently after a while, but I might want to just experience this scarf like this for a little while. It is pretty. Now, this is what I'm talking about. When you've got an asymmetrical print, you can either choose it to be mostly just red, in this case, or we can choose to see more of the butterflies and flowers, and that's what we're going to do this time by making sure that they are mostly exposed. And see, it's almost like a completely different scarf. I'm going to tie it underneath the triangle. Oh, I've missed this scarf. I have missed this so much. This is the pop of color that I rely on when I need some extra life in my face, or if I want to draw attention away from something going on up here, like mushroom-shaped haircut. <laughs> it's growing. It will, it will get there eventually. Let me show you how this looks with a coat. I really like this long Zara vest that I have for when the winter's a little bit colder here. I like the way this scarf crunches up when I'm wearing a winter coat or something real squishy up here. And it adds the color that I need. I need this color. <laughs> I'm not that into butterflies. This just happened to have butterflies on it. Let me show you something else. Even when you have a casual coat, suppose you're out going to your kid's soccer game and you're wearing something very casual, like this brown fleece jacket. I mean, look how much more stylish you can be just by tossing a piece of fabric around your neck. It has to be the right piece of fabric. It has to be a color that looks good on you. It has to be silk, because look, now I'm boring. Now I'm just a boring mom. And you know what I could be? I could be very stylish, Mom. Very easily. Two seconds. Two seconds, guys. Just trying to show you, trying to spread the knowledge. So I didn't even bother to retie this. This is what I just tied around my neck when I had my fleece jacket on. And here we go. Still pretty. Still pretty, just like this. And this is still very nice. Can I show you how big this is? It's quite big. 
It's the perfect hair scarf size, but I'm not going to put this in my hair because I'm already having enough trouble with the hair. I'm happy to see this scarf again. I'm happy that you got to see us reunited. Here's a really good example of a pop of color. Here is my long scarf from Metropolitan Museum of Art. Okay, so this scarf is lovely. It's actually a piece of art. It's got red and white flowers and a lot of greenery. It's got a blue edging. You can take a closer look. What I really love about this is it's mostly a green scarf, okay? But then we have these little pops of bright red. And look how we're going to do this now. We're going to wear this celery green blouse. I've got my red lipstick. We've got a mostly green scarf, but if you line it up right, you can get your little pop of red, kind of like right near your face. And that's super pretty. So it's mostly greens and blues, and you've got your little bit of red to echo the red lipstick. It's a wonderful accent. This is a wonderful scarf. It looks very boring at first glance. There's a lot of brown, but I mean, you have to think about what it brings out in your face, what it brings out in your outfit, what is, what is this accent going to accent? So I really like this, at first glance, kind of boring scarf, but I use it all the time because it always surprises me in what it brings out of my outfits. And that one's not on the chopping block. Mmm, I love this scarf, but it's very wrinkled. I don't even know how I got it this wrinkled, but I'll show it to you. Okay, what we have here is kind of like a real modern, abstract print, very light scarf. It's got the red on one side and white and black on the other, which I like. It makes for interesting shapes when you twirl it around here. So this almost says nothing. It just adds some swish of red around your neck and not too much because half of it is black and white, and you can choose how much red is shown. I mean, with just a little bit of a twist around, this is almost not a red scarf. Or maybe it is a completely red scarf. It depends on how you wear it. And I love what this does for my celery green and black outfit, which you wouldn't think, okay, now I need a white and black and red scarf with this. You just really never know what these scarves can bring out of your outfits. And uh, try some unusual color mixing with them. It's the easiest thing to do, especially if you've collected as many as I have. We've got a bright yellow blouse, a very fun bright yellow blouse. So what can we do about this? <laughs> the first thing we're gonna do is tone it down with a brown and a blue silk scarf that's rather large. I love the size of this scarf and it's so light, so wonderful. And we're just going to tie this one off to the side and allow it to be big and fluffy. I like that. I don't have to say more about that. I use this scarf all the time. This is, this is one of my ride or dies right here. Why? Because it's so neutral. It's so easy. Whereas you can wear this with anything. I don't know why brown and blue goes with everything, but it just does. That's another perfect hair scarf for under a hat. Let's do this polka dot scarf that I haven't seen in a million years. It just feels like it. And another one that I got in Paris for $5. So I just adore it. I will never get rid of it. Let's just do a little, little fun polka dot action here. This polka dot scarf adds so much sass to everything. I highly recommend owning a black and white polka dot scarf. It adds sass to everything. Every outfit I own, I can throw on this polka dot scarf and it just adds so much life. This would also be cute with a more subtle outfit. The polka dots are just awesome. And I got it in Paris. Did I say that? Of course I didn't. I'm so happy to have this scarf back in my rotation. This is truly one of my favorites. I know I say that a lot, a lot but I wear this so often. You wouldn't even believe it. This red scarf is honestly like my everyday thing. And let's just throw this on and take a look at it because this is what the red scarf does. 
It's a subtle red color, but what it's going to do is it's going to pick up the red in my skirt and it's just going to be nice and it's going to be cute. It just always is. I'm going to leave it a little bit more open. This scarf is from Liberty Scarves in England and it's a very high quality, good scarf that I love. I'm not usually a brand name person, but I'm very thrilled to have my Liberty scarf back. Close up look of the detail. You have to have some really basic prints like this. Not everything can be wild, but speaking of, this is the last time I'll mention Paris, but I do have to mention it because this is another one of my $5 scarves. And at first glance, it's just a wild kind of, almost kind of grotesque pattern. I mean, I don't even think it's a pretty pattern, but that doesn't matter. I just want to show you how I'm going to use the little pops of red to really make this outfit shine. It's just a denim dress that I love to wear in the summertime. And I'm just going to make sure that the little pop of red shows on my scarf that I just rolled up. I wear this combo all the time in the summertime. I always love how these two look together. I love how the red becomes the focal point and everything else is just blue, just neutral. I think it's very pretty. This is a wonderful little scarf and it shows you the power of ignoring the ugly pattern on your scarf and just focusing on the color. Does the color work for you? Then go for it because you're not even going to see the pattern once it's rolled up and put around your neck. You don't even see it. Look, I'm going to switch what you see here. Ugly pattern be gone. Beautiful colors be shown. <laughs> that sounds like something you hear at Hogwarts. I'm sorry to say that I completely lied because I'm going to talk about Paris one more time because I picked up this long beige fake embroidery looking silk scarf with that same batch in Paris and this one actually says Paris on it so I don't know for some reason that that does something for me <laughs> and I really didn't think I liked this one until I tried it on in my last scarf video and then it just showed me that this color is perfect for me these colors are perfect for me and they're perfect with denim. So let me just show you that I now wear this all the time and it just adds this subtle bit of texture and layering and I love it. It doesn't call too much attention to itself. It's just a nice little bit of an accent. I love this scarf. Sometimes I wear it with a shirt of the same color and I just cross it over and I tuck it in and it adds a bit of pattern to the blouse. Usually with that beige blouse, I will just kind of cross it over and tuck it into my belt. It doesn't look that good with this dress as an example. I'm just showing you how I do it with the blouse. But I ended up really surprised by how much I like this scarf. And I don't wear it as much as I should. I actually really enjoy this. So I think I'm going to put this at the top of my scarf hanger so I see it more often. So this is this is one of the scarves that was hidden from me. And not only that, one of my ultimate favorites because I love a good black scarf in a super lightweight fabric. Now this is the lightest fabric I have. This is the lightest scarf I have. And look how small it crunches up. It's so tiny and so beautiful. And it's got tiny little tassels at the end, which make it even more wonderful to me. You can probably see me through this. It's so thin. It has this wonderful texture with this square. Having a thin golden black puffy scarf like this, you really can't go wrong. You can wear this with everything. I'm going to very quickly talk about this scarf because I, I had this entire video planned around this one and how to tie a scarf so that the good parts show and you could see that video right here if you want to. So I'm not going to take too much time with this one. Beautiful color. You can either wear it with the purples and the greens showing like that, or you can wear it with most of the white showing like this. And like I said, there's an entire video about it, so I'm just going to rush through this one. You want to see how big it is? It's this big. Very big. Not one of my favorites, to be honest, but it does come in handy. Surprisingly, this is one of my favorites, and it's kind of ugly. Wouldn't you agree? It's got these muted purples and oranges, and it's got not a very nice pattern, maybe even kind of 90s or late 80s, but this is a wonderful hair scarf, and it's wonderful just for tossing on any 
day where you just want to jazz up your neck. Do you ever want to jazz up your neck? <laughs> but I do think that this comes in handy all the time for when I'm bicycling, covering my hair or covering my face if it's springtime and there's a lot of bugs out. Honestly, I do that. I love bicycling in the spring, but I hate bugs in my mouth, so I will do that. I take this camping. I use it to cover my shoulders when I've had too much sun. And I don't mind taking it everywhere and doing everything with it because it's kind of ugly. And that's the trick. You gotta have some of those too that you don't mind ruining. Here I have a plain black scarf. I honestly don't know why I still own this because I never, ever, ever, ever use it. <laughs> Was that enough evers for you? But you might. Suppose you look great in black and you just want a scarf to wear under your black coat because you like all black everything and you want a bit of luxury. This adds a bit of luxury. And it feels great around your neck. So, you know, if you're an all black kind of person, get yourself an all black luxurious scarf. I think it might be easier to show these last few scarves with these big baggy overalls that are so plain. There's nothing going on with this outfit. And let's see how much these scarves add. So here's one of my biggest scarves, one of my old big silk scarves as big as me, wider than me. I love this because it's just a ton of fabric. You can just hang this around your neck like this. You can belt it. You can make it into a wonderful hair turban. And you can just wear it, which I'm going to do. I'm just gonna make it big and poofy, like that. I do this all the time. I love this scarf. It's so much good squishiness, yummy squishiness. I love it but it makes a really cool hair turban. Let's see if we can, let's see if I can get a good hair turban going. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it a little bit bunched up and I'm gonna wrap it around here. I'm gonna twist it and then I'm gonna tie it in the back and then I'm gonna tuck it under. That's pretty cute for a summertime when it's really hot and you want all your hair off your neck. Okay, I'm going to add this shredded denim jacket on top of my overalls. For some reason, this shredded denim jacket, every time I wear it out, men love this jacket. They come up to me and say, I love your jacket. I don't know why this jacket is such a man magnet, but it is. So I'm going to show you now this very thin purple and blue, it's almost leopard print, but it's not. Kind of abstract print scarf that's very light and how that adds to this outfit this plain outfit. It makes it pretty. That's exactly what it does. It adds a nice purple color and makes me look more stylish. It's that simple. That's why I keep it around. Okay, I want to very quickly talk about my boring scarf. This is my boring scarf. It's in a color that I still enjoy. I do think this is a good color for me, but it's also very plain. I don't ever wear it except for to tie my hair back when I'm going to put oil on my face or I want to keep my hair out of the pool. Um, I use it for any activity like that where I don't care what happens to it because it's boring and I never use it, but it is silk and it will be gentle on my hair. And, and why not make it silk? You can get a plain silk scarf for this activity. You don't need to use terrible materials. And then last but not least is this crazy scarf I picked up at a resale shop. And the reason I don't wear this very often is because it's actually satin. It's a satin silk and it's very slippery. And I really don't like the feel of satin, except, and this is the perfect application. Okay, you know when you have a turtleneck sweater to pull over your head? This is the scarf you bring out and you pull it over your head and then you remove it and your hair is frizz free and your makeup is not on your sweater. It's on your crazy scarf. You can't even tell you got makeup on it because it's that crazy. It's really good and slippery for that application. So I do keep this around in case I found myself in a bind where I have to pull something over my head and I've already done my makeup and my hair. And I mean, many people would wear this scarf. It's pretty. I just don't. Here it is on. Just so you can see, it's pretty, of course, you could wear it. It's just the one that I choose to use to protect my hair and my face, that's all. Well, 
that was an adventure. I actually ran out of battery there at the end because that took so long. That was so exhausting, guys. And guess what? I still left one out. And it's this beautiful gray rose and goldenrod scarf with tassels that's a lot like my every day, but I left the tassels on this one and I do wear this very, very often because it's a nice dusty color and it goes with a lot of things and I would wear it just like this. So that's a lot of scarves and when I went to put them away on my scarf hanger, I realized I had filled up all the holes and more and this is out of control. So I'm going to force myself to get rid of three. I have decided that this non-silk shiny one can go. Also the one that I was saying that I could live without, this can go. Bye bye. But I really don't know what the third one has to be. I wear nearly all of these all the time, but you know what I think has to go? Plain black silk. I think this has to go. Okay, and there it is. There's all three of them that I've chosen to leave this time. I'm sure that if I was forced to, I could pick five, ten. If I was forced to, um, I've pulled my hair back because that whole scarf adventure just kind of ruined everything. But something I wanted to show you is that scarves sometimes come in the form of other things. And whether it's a belt to your cover-up or whatever, um, just be open-minded to something that's beautiful. It could be your scarf. And uh, I'm not saying that this kitten toy can be a scarf, but maybe if I took off the mice and the fish, maybe it could. So all I'm saying is keep an open mind, have fun, try not to collect too many scarves. Thank you for being here with me in this adventure where I found my missing favorite scarves. Let's talk some more about scarves coming up very soon.